What is happening everyone, Mystic Fluffy here. So recently I bought a lot of Pokemon cards and I think I've got a real problem. So not only did I buy a lot of Pokemon cards, I actually bought the big three from base set. Got Charizard, Blastoise and Venusaur all in PSA 7. So what better way to finish it than to buy these three and I did spend over $800 on the three slabs. However, I actually did manage to sell it for, wait for it, 1.35k. What did he say? So I made a bit of a profit, not huge, because eBay takes quite a big punch out of my wallet. So profits say goodbye, and eBay, they just become richer. So I'm just trying out buying slabs, see if I can flip them. Turns out you actually can. Uh, I thought the market would just keep keep dropping considering the hype last year and Pokemon has seen a big bit of a dip with the current market prices on virtually most of the slabs. Uh, Japanese are still pretty much affordable. Uh, certain cards still have maintained their, their values so have gone up a bit, uh, but majority of the Cards have actually dropped. I remember watching uh, Pat Flynn, so Deep Pocket Monster, he bought a Raw Zard during the peak. He bought it for about, I don't remember, what was it about 900 bucks or something? I can't remember exactly, but it was just ridiculous price. And yeah, so he bought a Raw, Raw Charizard, went to Greater, and all up, uh, I think it costed, I think, yeah, and then it cost like $1.4,000. And to sell it now would have been like a third of that price. You're looking about 400 US dollars, roughly. So the market is does change, and uh, you, now, do I think of the prices of the big three dropping? Yes, potentially they can drop further. However, they might go up even more than what it is now. It depends on what people are after if there's a demand for it. So people are after it, it'll go go up if the supply is low then. Yeah, the value should increase. Although base set has been reprinted so many times, so there's plenty uh, on the market to be honest. Uh, so I know that the eight and nine definitely do jump, and the tens just yeah, it's ridiculous amounts. Uh, nines I think they go for about PSA nine Charizard almost goes for like two k or Australian dollars, and then like a ten goes for like probably like ten ten k I would say roughly, give or take. So the price for these is still sold after, it's the original, you can't beat the OG sets of cards. I know that they've done a fine line of different variations of cards of like Last Life's Charizard, you know, we got uh, Evolutions, even that's still going for a bit. I, I did actually manage to get some Evolutions PSA 9 slabs, uh, see if I can flip them as well. Uh, but no one's really asking for them, they're not as popular as the base set. Although base set 7 versus a Evolutions 9, base set 7 still holds greater value even though it's a, lot, it's a lower grade than the Evolutions uh, 9. I'm just super surprised that I actually managed to buy the big 3 and yeah, made a profit after listing on eBay after a few days, which is pretty crazy. I was expecting, I was like, wait, maybe you're thinking like the weekend, buy it and then, yeah, wait for the weekend, like towards the end of the weekend. This is like before the weekend, and it's just, just nuts to be able to uh, see the return of money right after you list on eBay. Not directly after, but just a few days after uh, those views and stuff. So you can monitor that. The good thing about eBay is like analytics, people that watch it, you can uh, send offers, which is the great thing about eBay. The only downside about eBay is the fees is quite a lot. Like, I uh, would add about 15% roughly on each item that you sell on eBay. Uh, probably shouldn't reach more than 50, maybe like 16, 17%. It's the most I've ever seen, which was my PSA 7 Zard that I did sell for 760, uh, like a month or two back. Yeah, so super proud of that. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to eBay, see what, what's out there. It seems like uh, eBay's got uh, more of a variety of uh, the audience who are interested in your slabs, although in marketplace and country is still popular. Just find that eBay, uh, it's more, more eyes and people are yeah, more interested in what you have. Like Facebook, you know, people usually go on Facebook, they just scroll and just instantaneously just flick through the news feed and find what's uh, interesting, 
interesting to them and then they go from there. There we have it guys, I might just leave it there and I'll just continue uh, just docu documenting my journey on selling my slabs, see what, what I can find on eBay and then manage to flip them for a profit or well, hopefully for a profit. Sometimes you make a, a loss, sometimes you make, you make a profit. Uh, it's just a way of uh, investing. You can't always know the market, you can never time the market, although you can kind of predict it. Uh, predictions can go wrong, so there is some risk involved with uh, playing with Pokemon cards. It's not always going to be you know positive days. There'll be some down moments as well, so, you know, given the market. Anyways, guys, so that's my time, and let me know in the comments below what you think of my uh, recent purchase and sale that I managed to flip of the uh, big three: the Zard, the Stoice, and uh, the Venusaur Cabbage. As always, just keep safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <music> you.